Hello friends, today we will learn Scotch opening, name it also Scotch game. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, pawn captures the pawn and knight captures the pawn. These are the starting moves of the Scotch opening. Now black can play bishop c5 or queen h4 or Knight f6. These are the main lines of the scotch opening. It's possible for black to play queen f6 or bishop b4 and black can capture the knight, knight d4. We will see these lines now. Classical main line is bishop c5. Black attacks the knight. White defends the knight. Another attack from black. Three pieces attack white knight. And white defends his knight by playing c3. Knight e7. Bishop c4. Knight e5. Bishop e2. And as you see, black queen is active in king side casting short and d6 if instead of playing d6 black plays queen e4 and captures the pawn it's not good move because this is a poisoned pawn if black captures the pawn knight b5 and there is a fork after knight c7. Because of this, black must not capture the pawn. Instead of capturing the pawn, black plays d6, f3, and casting short. If instead of the casting short, black plays bishop h3, white will defend the pawn by playing rook f2. Both sides has the same equal chances. Let's return to the move bishop c5. Instead of playing bishop e3, white can prefer to capture the black knight. Queen f6 and black threatens to checkmate. White defends the f2 pawn and b pawn captures the knight. Now this pawn tries to control the central square. Knight d2, d6, knight b3 and bishop b6. This is a calm opening. Position is calm and the chances are equal. I will turn again the move bishop c5. Now the game continue with these moves. Knight c3, knight f6, queen e2, Casting short, bishop g5, h6, bishop h4, a5, a4, and knight d4. Chances are equal in this line. Now let's see the second main line. After these initial moves, instead of playing bishop c5, black can prefer to play knight f6. Now white can capture the knight or he can play knight c3. If white plays knight c3, the game will continue with these moves. d pawn must not capture the knight because after the exchange of the queens, black will not able to castle. Therefore, he captures the knight with the b pawn. After the castling short, the position are equal. If white captures the knight, b pawn captures the knight in the same version, d pawn cannot capture the knight because black will not able to castle after the exchange of the rook. queens. e5, queen e7, queen e2, knight d5, c4, Bishop a6. 
Black can prefer to play knight b6. This is a prime position. Or Black can prefer to play bishop a6, b3, g6. White pawn cannot capture the knight because the weak bishop will capture the white queen. Both sides have the equal chances. Let's return to knight f6 move. Instead of playing knight c3, white can capture the knight. Black must capture the knight with the b pawn. Otherwise, if he captures with d pawn, after the exchange of the queens, black will not able to castle. Therefore, b pawn captures the knight e5, queen e7, queen e2, knight d5, c4, bishop a6. Instead of bishop a6, black can play knight b6 attacking the c4 pawn, knight c3 and queen e6. Black bishop is not well developed and white pawn is a weak pawn. If black plays bishop a6, b3 and g6, white pawn cannot capture the knight. If it captures, black bishop will capture the queen. Both sides have equal chances. Is queen h4. Queen attacks the e4 pawn and f2 pawn. Knight c3, bishop b4, bishop attacks the knight and queen will try to capture the pawn. Now black captured the pawn but after knight b5 there is a fork threat and black now cannot castle. Casting short by white and knight f6. Black has got a pawn, but his king is, is not in a secure place. It's a risky move, a risky position for black. Let's return again to the initial position of the scotch opening. Black can capture the white knight. Once upon a time, this move was very popular, but nowadays it's not a good move and the Grandmaster doesn't prefer to make these moves. Because after Queen captures the Knight, White Queen became become very active and it's not possible to chase away the Queen. Knight e7, Bishop c4, Knight c6, checkmate threat a defensive move, casting short, knight e5, bishop e2, c6, and queen b3. White queen is active, and black has not got any advantage after the knight capture d4 move. Let's see now scotch gambit. Instead of capturing the d4 pawn, White can prefer the gambit and give up a pawn in order to develop quickly by playing bishop c4. After these moves, double pawns are a weakness for black and e5 pawn is a weakness for white. Chances are equal for both sides. Let's watch now during Gambit. We saw the moves Knight capture d4 and Bishop c4. Third alternative move is c3. D pawn capture c3 and Bishop c4 White tries to create a pressure on f7 pawn. d4, knight capture c3, knight f6, 
and pressure continues on F7 square and now white knight participate to the attack and defensive move from black it's a risky opening and the grandmaster doesn't prefer to play Goering Gambit that's your choice in the Goering Gambit instinct of capturing the c3 pawn black can prefer to play d5 and after the exchange of the pawns the game continues with these moves as you see black's position is good black pieces are valuable put and he can castle that's why grandmasters don't prefer to play Goering Gambit because of the d5 move in the move 4 you can find the written moves and example games on our website. You can click the link which is in the description section. Thank you for watching us. Please click like button if you liked our video or subscribe to our channel in order to watch new chess videos. See you again.